Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Theology, where we try and explain some important concept of the Christian faith in 5 minutes or less. I may regret doing this, but I wanted to give it a go. And so the first topic we're going to think about today is revelation. Revelation is a word that Christians throw around a lot. Let's think about what we mean by it and what some of its implications are. So I've got a timer set on my phone to five minutes. I'm going to start it running and see how much we can explain in five minutes. Revelation is, in its simplest form, God revealing himself. We can't know God unless he reveals himself. He is God. He is far beyond our comprehension. He is supernatural and our senses only really perceive the natural world. Unless God reveals himself, we can't know him. I don't know if you've ever heard the famous illustration of the blind men and the elephant. It imagines that there's a group of uh, blind men shuffling around a room and they know there's something in it. And one of them says, I think I found it. It's a tree. But he's actually holding the leg of an elephant. And another says, I found it. It's a snake. But he's actually holding the elephant's trunk. Another says, I found it, it's a rope, but he's actually holding the elephant's tail. And it's often used as an image to say that we can't really know what God is like, because one of us might have got the trunk and another might have got the leg. But really, what God is like is hidden from us. We're like blind men trying to find him. And of course, that image is true if God doesn't reveal himself. If the elephant speaks and tells you it's an elephant, then you can truly know it. We can know God if he reveals himself to us. There's no way for human brains to climb up to the knowledge of God. But if God comes down to us and tells us what he's like, then we can know him. And Christians believe that is what God has done. He's made it possible for us to know him. Not completely, not understand everything about him. He will always be far bigger than us. But get a grip on him. Like a child with a basketball. Uh, or a beach ball. Have you ever seen a child with its beach ball at the beach? The child can't get their arms around it, but they can get a grip on it. And it's like that for us with God. We will never comprehend him, but we can apprehend him. We can get a grip on him. We can get an idea of what he's like if he reveals himself to us. Christians believe God has done that in two main ways. The first is by creation. He made the universe and so looking at the universe tells us stuff about him. That's sometimes called common grace or common revelation. And so as we look at the beauty of the universe, we can deduce that God is good, or at the very least that he's a lover of beauty. As we look at its size, we can deduce that he is great. As we look at its order, we can deduce that he is a God of order, not chaos, and so on. And more especially, as we look at ourselves as human beings made in God's image, we can get an idea of what God is like by looking at other people. But if all we had to go on was the natural world, we couldn't know very much about God. Um, you could make a lot of guesses about what God is like based on just the universe out there. Um, but to really know him, to know what he's truly like and what he thinks about us, we need him to speak to us directly, to reveal himself to us directly. And Christians believe God has done that in what we call special revelation, that is, in the Bible, in Jesus, and through the Holy Spirit. And then that's where God speaks to us directly. It's a bit like if you wanted to get to know a famous artist, you could look at his paintings, and maybe you could guess something about him from the way he painted. But that's not the same as sitting down to dinner with him and having a long conversation. That's where you truly get to know what the man himself was like. And Christians believe that we get to do that with God in his word written, in Jesus, which is God, who is God living as one of us, and in the Holy Spirit, who helps us understand Jesus as revealed to us in the Bible. So the Christian doctrine of Revelation teaches us to be humble and to be grateful. It teaches us to be humble and recognise that we can't figure out God for ourselves. That if we try and deduce what God is like based on our own imagination or thoughts or feelings, we will go wrong. But it also teaches us to be grateful. 
to be grateful for the fact that God has introduced himself to us in Jesus and in the Bible, grateful for the fact that we can get to know him, and to seek to get to know him in his word, written and incarnate. We're going to do a bit more of that as we continue this series of five minutes theology. I'm stopping the timer.